President Rodrigo Duterte on Tuesday tells tycoon Lu Xutan he no longer bears any grudge against him. Duterte makes the remark after he thanked Tan for providing the Philippine Airlines planes that flew overseas Filipino workers from Kuwait back to Manila. He says, quote, because of this incident, Mr. Lu Xutan, I am going to shut up forever. It's okay with me. It's over. The president also thanks Stan for his family's many donations for the rehabilitation of Marawi City. Duterte gives an assurance he will never make accusations against Stan again. This is in stark contrast to the president's previous accusations against Stan. He once claimed that tycoon funded the stabilization plots against the government, which Stan denied. Duterte also threatened to close PAL's terminal in Metro Manila if Tan would refuse to pay 6 billion pesos in unpaid air navigational charges incurred since the 1970s. In November 2017, PAL finally paid the 6 billion pesos. Duterte also says if businessmen do the right thing, they can expect protection from any government harassment. A social weather station survey shows more Filipinos, or 59%, will prioritize their career over having a love life. The fourth quarter 2017 SWS survey results are released on Tuesday, a day before Valentine's Day. It also shows 60% of women and 57% of men will choose career over love life. The following Filipino men will choose career over love life. 82% of widowed, separated, or divorced Filipino men, 77% of Filipino men who never married, 53% of Filipino men with live-in partners, 50% of married Filipino men. The following Filipino women will prioritize career over love. 80% of widowed, separated, or divorced Filipino women. 83% of Filipino women who never married. 65% of Filipino women with live-in partners. 50% of married Filipino women. The SWS also notes a very strong net possibility of success both in love life and career across sex and civil status, with a positive 81 among men and positive 71 among women. Respondents who said it is possible to be successful in both their career and love life were mostly married or have live-in partners. Manila and Beijing stay silent on the Chinese artificial islands in the West Philippine Sea following the two sides' second meeting on the disputed waters Tuesday. In a joint press release issued Tuesday, the Philippines and China say they had a frank, cordial exchange of views and issues of concern on the South China Sea. They say, quote, with the objective of maintaining and promoting peace and stability in the region, both sides discussed ways to manage and prevent incidents at sea, promote dialogue and cooperation on maritime issues, and enhance mutual trust and confidence. Both sides had a positive, fruitful, and productive meeting. The meeting came a week after the Philippine Daily Inquirer published close-up aerial photos of China's militarization of its artificial islands in the West Philippine Sea. Philippine presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says the second meeting proves the Philippines is not going soft on China. But a joint press release of the Philippines and China mostly reiterates previous statements issued about the sea dispute. 